All right, time for the math. Easy solution. We'll discuss uh, some more derivative rules. Look at uh, some more inverse trigonometry. And this time we'll do derivative of cosine of inverse cosine. I showed uh, using implicit differentiation. I showed in my last video how to do uh, sine uh, inverse sine. Now we're gonna do is a similar uh, proof for this one. So basically, let's say if you have function y equals uh, inverse cosine of x. And basically, um, if you see my video on inverse functions and on inverse trig, this is basically a way of writing cosine y is equal to x, where in this case you're solving for y. And and, and, um, and where I showed that this is defined for basically y is less than equal to pi and greater than equal to 0. So then the uh, function of this looks something like this. It actually looks something like this, the inverse sine. I mean inverse cosine looks something like this where this is 1 and this is uh, negative 1 and yet yeah, this is pi here and this is 0 this is x so this is at y yeah, so that's a 0 and this is 0 so this is where it's defined at so basically yeah you see my video on, on inverse trig and why it's like this but um, anyway so to get the derivative we do similar to how I proved for inverse sine we just look at this function here and use implicit differentiation so basically if you have cosine uh, cosine y equals x we take derivative of this cosine derivative of cosine is just well sine I mean negative sine negative sine y then using chain rule we do times y prime because you do the inside this derivative of x is just one and then but in this case y prime is just equal to d well dy over dx so just derivative in terms of x so basically if we rearrange this we'll get y prime is equal to one over negative sine theta and uh, if you then if you recall this trig identity where you have sine squared y plus cosine squared y this just equals to 1 you see my other video on the link below for the proof of this rearrange to solve for y we for uh, sine y we get so we get basically so sine squared y is equal to 1 minus cosine just rearrange it and then square root this we'll have sine y is equal to plus or minus square root 1 minus cosine squared y but uh, so this plus or minus but since we know that y is in uh, for inverse uh, cos is defined for pi and less th and 0 between 0 and pi and we know that the function sine y is basically it goes something like this it's something like this, and this is pi and this is 0 basically if this is sine y and we see that it's greater than zero here. It's greater than or equal to zero between these two points. So between these two, so then it's always going to be greater than zero. So we don't need this negative. So so then we'll just go sine y with the uh, restricted domain here. This is just equal to well plus one one cosine y, or just put a plus. So there's no negative there. I'm mean cosine squared. So now if we plug this back into this one, we'll get y prime is equal to negative 1 over well sine this is this is a uh, 1 minus cosine squared y and then if we look uh, back to our basic definition if we have y y uh, this is y equals inverse cosine x this is basically cosine y equals x so that's just a way of writing this one if solving for y so basically we know that cosine y is equal to x if we square both sides, we'll have cosine cosine squared y is equal to x squared. We just squared both sides. And basically, this we just plug this back in here. So that's all we get there. That's this function. So then we'll get y prime is equal to, well, negative 1 over 1 minus, co 1 minus x squared. Yeah, so, just, uh, so this is basically our function right here. So this is our uh, derivative of, of of y is equal to inverse cosine of, a, of, of x, and the derivative is just this. Yeah, so the derivative is just uh, y prime is equal to uh, negative 1, 1 divided by uh, square root 1 minus x squared. Yeah, and this derivative is, uh, is similar to when, you, when we uh, showed my other video, y equals sine negative inverse 
you have y equals inverse sine x, and the derivative is just equal to positive 1 over 1 minus x squared. So this one's just negative. So yeah, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned a uh, uh, derive. You could do this for all the inverse trig de derivatives, and basically I yeah, just just use implicit differentiation. Well, uh, there it is. Hopefully you learned today, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.